Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah. Now India has messed up big time with how they're dealing with this whole Kashmir issue. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Alright guys, so as I showed from my second to last video, India is resorting to some weird propaganda to cover up their tracks in this whole Kashmir issue. Yo, you know when it comes to this whole Kashmir issue now, I'm a big man yeah? Yo, I think I'm an authority now because I got the stripes. You don't believe me? Yo, the DG DG ISP The DP I for God's sake DG ISP The DG ISPR of Pakistan retweeted my video. Now I know the guy sounds like a Wi-Fi password, but that's actually the spokesperson for the Pakistani armed forces. I'm not gonna mention the fact that he didn't give man no credit in the video, didn't retweet it, but considering there's impending war that's possible, you know what I mean? Like man can let things slide, you know what I mean? You know much love for respecting what man does and appreciating, you know, man's reputation on the whole political scene and Let's move on. Now like I said when it comes to the propaganda, India's getting mega desperate. Yeah, to such a degree they are now sending cricket players to be members of their army. That didn't go as well. And I think they've given this guy, this MS Dhoni, I think ex-captain of India, they've made him major or lieutenant or whatever. Yeah. And they're getting washed up Bollywood actors. Yeah, to promote the messed up move that they've done in Kashmir. I mean, this guy, yeah, he always plays the dad, you know what I mean? Get one of the Khans, not Salman because obviously I don't even think he's a Muslim, but the, the, one of the other two Khans. Another strategy of this is to censor the people that are speaking against them on Twitter. One of the accusations was of a Pakistani actor. We have also asked Twitter to take down some of these handles. Now the saddest part is irony, Twitter is allowing verified, these are handles with a blue tick, verified handles to push out hate news, fake news on Kashmir. I'm going to show you some of the tweets, some of the handles in fact. Now this is a top actor in Pakistan. His name is Hamza Ali Abbasi. Now there is a, so much, there is so much of propaganda that is being spread on social media. This is just one handle. He's spreading propaganda. Well, let's see what sort of propaganda he's been spreading. Yeah, they seem to cut the video off right when they were gonna check his Twitter. But let's actually check the Twitter page. All right, let's see what the fake news Hamza is spreading. Number one, he's got a trailer out of the legend of Mola Jat. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Uh, Hajj. Uh, I don't think that's propaganda. Listen to the Imran Khan speech. Uh, RSS has a racist ideology. Well, he's spot on so far. I ask the Muslims in India, ask us of sincerely. The article is direct violation of the UN. I mean, this doesn't really seem, oh, they're trying to divide us and, oh, I see. Uh, this doesn't really seem like propaganda, to be honest. Uh, Let's move on to Jummah, yeah? So they're trying to show people uh, that hey look, we're allowing them to pray, yeah. Let's ignore the fact that we've kept them locked up for most of the week and with no communication, no access to fresh food and connecting with the news and what's going on. Let's forget all of that mate, they're allowed to pray. They can't pray in their big mosques, we, we've locked them up yeah obviously. Uh, they, you can, guys can pray in the little, little small mosques yeah. They've also opened up two helplines for people to get in contact with their loved ones. I don't know if they've actually thought this through in their tiny little brains because how on earth are you meant to get in contact with someone when the phone lines are down? There's no communication and no internet. How on earth are they supposed to even know about the helpline? 
I mean, are you guys going back to sending pigeons? That's the only option I'm seeing. Now the other bit of news is Pakistan's response. Pakistan is taking the matter to the UN. Some people are skeptical about that because let's face it, the UN is pretty useless to actually getting something done. They're going to other countries to rally support. They've called back the ambassador from India and sent Indian one back. They've shut off some transport links and trade ties. I don't know if that's having much effect, but it shows that there is a reaction and they're not doing nothing. You know what I mean? Lastly guys, I don't think countries understand that supporting hate means that eventually that hate will increase and eventually make its way to your door and there's gonna be no one left to defend you. Pakistan made that mistake with the Uyghurs in China and now the UAE is making the same mistake but with Kashmir. But these mugs have gone one step forward and declared their support for India. Really? Really? That's a bit of the news that I found out. There is other news that is dotted around but I couldn't really verify it so I can't say for certain but definitely let me know in the comments if you guys have come across some stuff. Share the news that you guys have come across because some of you guys are following it properly. Let's leave it there guys and till next time. I'm a big man yeah. Asalaamu Alaikum.